Nickelodeon has just announced that the upcoming Avatar movie will no longer be about Kyoshi, but it will now be about Avatar Aang and Team Avatar as young adults. Here is the video that their official Twitter account tweeted out. We actually have some exclusive Avatar Studios news for you all. Now, there have been a lot of rumors floating around, a lot of speculation and a lot of excitement. I feel it too, but we figured it was time to set the record straight. The first feature-length movie from Avatar Studios will be focusing on Avatar, Aang, and his friends. And I, for one, cannot wait. Now, where was I? Now, this is not the only bit of news we got today, so let's continue. The original leak stated that there was originally going to be a Kyoshi movie in 2024, a Zuko movie in 2025, and a Korra movie in 2026. Now, everybody, including myself, thought this was really weird for Avatar to come back after all of these years and for it to not be Aang. Like, it was a little bit risky, and it seems like Avatar Studios has finally come to their senses on that. As for what this Aang movie is going to be about, all we know is that it's going to be about about Team Avatar and Aang, and it's not going to be an adaptation of the comic books that are already out. And now we know this because a couple weeks ago, the original creators confirmed that they're not interested in adapting the comics. They said the comics are going to stay somewhat canon, but they want to focus on new and original stories that everybody can enjoy for the first time. Now this is a really good choice for the community, as there's always going to be people spoiling cartoon only people on what's next, and that's just never fun. And because these are original stories that haven't been seen before, it'll bring the community together and we'll be able to speculate together on what's next. In other news, the Zuko movie is now confirmed to be set in a time where Team Avatar are actually adults. If you guys are new here and have no idea about the Zuko movie, I'll have a video linked in the description down below. You can click that and you'll learn all about that. But back to the original topic. All the information we have around the Zuko movie is kind of messy. It's actually super unclear if the Zuko movie is connected to the Aang movie, if they're the same thing, or if they're separate, because previously there was three announced movies and then this one got announced so is it four or we just don't know it's all really messy which is kind of weird because these weren't just leaks anymore they were officially announced to both times uh if someone at avatar studios is watching this which i think there is um, if you guys could come out and clear this up, that would be great. But because no one has cleared it up, I'm gonna speculate a bit, and I'm gonna say they're probably not connected, and there's gonna be four movies now. The original lease called the movie a Zuko-focused movie, and today's announcement, it was called an Aang and his friends-focused movie. I don't know how they're gonna focus on Aang, Zuko, and Team Avatar all together with completely different storylines, unless they wanna do a three-hour movie, which I don't think they're gonna do that. My guess is that there's gonna be four movies, or one's just getting cancelled, I really don't know. Again, if somebody at Avatar Studios wants to email me and give me some information about this, I'll make a video on it, but let's move on. According to Avatar News, things are still very fluid at Avatar Studios. Things are constantly flipping between movies and TV shows, and I'm sure release dates are set to change. Movies are great, but I really think we need a TV show to bring back all of the hype to the series, especially if the live action flops. I know, I know, Netflix and Avatar Studios are completely separate, and they're not working together at all. But I think we can all agree, if the live action is good, then the future of Avatar is looking really good. Avatar Studios will ride the hype into the sunset. But if the Avatar live action is bad, then the Avatar hype will be at an all-time low. <laughs>